Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your ASUS VivoBook E510 solid state drive or RAM. Also you're gonna see what's going on inside of this laptop. You're gonna see how the motherboard looks like, uh, how the battery looks like and so on. And of course you're gonna see how you can open up this laptop as well. You need a little uh, Phillips screwdriver there and you have to remove all the screws on the back panel there's no hidden screws all the screws you can see there these one will have to be removed one thing i have to say you now some screws are different sizes so keep them separate and remember where they came out so you can put them exactly back where they came out from and now you need something plasticky i recommend using plastic don't recommend using anything metal because you can damage your laptop or even worse you can damage your fingers or hands it's gonna take few minutes now to remove the back panel it does resist a little bit also this laptop is brand new it was never opened so it, it does resist as you can see yourself there but take your time There we go, almost there. That's it, back panel is off. Now I'm just gonna show you the back panel inside as well. There you go, and this is your look now on the laptop inside. You can see very small motherboard, small enough battery as well, I suppose. And I have very bad news for you, RAM is not not upgradable on this laptop only solid state drive you can add extra solid state drive which is uh, m2 ssd on this laptop now the built-in uh, ssd is 64 gigs so in a minute i'm gonna add another 128 gigabyte so in total it's gonna have almost 200 gigs and uh, before you start upgrading anything you can disconnect battery you can see it's simple enough you have to push back that little metal clip there yeah battery disconnected okay this is your solid state drive i only had 128 gigs if you have more you can put more in it that's all i had it's a fast enough drive not now too much space but it will do since there's 64 gigs on, on board anyway and one thing now if you install a new drive and you're planning to use windows on it obviously you'll have to install windows again so whatever you choose there windows 10 or windows 11 i installed windows 11 on this drive i'll show you now in a minute you're gonna see the windows as well you're gonna see the both drives there so just to prove that i'm not fooling you and also the little screw what you saw there it doesn't laptop doesn't come with it you need to unscrew that somewhere else or buy one don't know where you're gonna get it you might have one in in a house anyway but that's it okay you can connect the battery back don't forget it happened to me quite a few times now i have to say i forgot to connect battery and guess what i have to open the laptop again and connect it then so i recommend connecting it now and that's it, you can put the back panel back and the screws will go back where they came from. And as I said, bad news is uh, RAM is not upgradable sadly, so this laptop came with 4GB DDR4 RAM and that's how it's gonna stay forever. I can't upgrade that, can't do anything about it, so that's the bad news. Okay, screws will go back in now. And just in a second now, we're gonna go to Windows and see what's going on there. There we go, we're in the windows. I'm just gonna show you a few specs of this laptop now. Go to this PC and properties. As you see, there's four gigabyte RAM, Intel Celeron CPU, not the fastest one either now. 
and you can see here that's the new drive I installed 120 and that's the old one 64 gigs so I left the old one for just for storage god knows it's not a lot but will do go to device manager now as well and you could see the both drives are there so it's working it's guaranteed to be working with extra drive so that's it guys hopefully it was helpful for someone out there who's looking to upgrade if you like the video subscribe bye bye